another episode where I would like to show you how you can create roof tiles in your project. And you see, these are the reference what our client has provided to the current project and that's the result after the modeling according to all the requirements they've sent to us and as you see we have everything properly modeled and now we proceed to the next stage and exactly the way how we can create roof tiles using our tiles plugin which is free for use and it's pretty easy to work with and you see I just by picking the plugin in my browser I just start to pick the first point and to stretch to the second one and you see this are a couple of options on the right panel where you can choose how many points anchor points you can use by creating your shape on the roof tiles and you see I try to go further and most of the ways as you know you need to practice something that you get it familiar with and so I'm just starting to drag and stretch my first plane what I've created just by picking three anchor points and also if you go down below on your panel and if you start working with and choosing some of the options as an additional what the plugin is providing and this is you can change the shapes of the tiles itself and also you can use a custom one if you have prepared already something you would like to use so but in my, my case I have something particular and I will say something which is happening in most of the case by creating roof tiles roof tiles panels so because our project doesn't have so much complicated shapes and geometry in general I mean it's just convenient residential housing and as you see I'm just showing you a quick preview on the options what you can choose by going through all the shapes you can choose by in your roof so I'm going further sometimes you need to make holes and I'll just show you second that we can use it and make holes in the geometry you are creating so again there are a lot of options depends of your needs and these are the general models you can use on your roof and also there are uh, vertical options if you need it for creating uh, wall panels and how I said is pretty easy and simple for working with Artiles plugin in your project by creating Artiles and you see because we have picked three general points and in that case we need four so we need to try another option so by picking four anchor points and getting in this way just by picking always one by one the anchor points 
and stretching the geometry up to the upper point of the roof until you stretch in the desirable way and that's it and we see it's really easy and simple in my case because I have pretty similar faces I need just to make a mirror of what I've done till now but I prefer to show you further how I'm going to use all the same techniques by picking anchor points one by one and creating all around the meshes and cover with tiles we need to imagine there is of course another additional options provided by the 3D Max itself for creating uh, tiles or uh, repeating geometry parametrical shapes and so on but in my case for creating roof tiles I highly recommend to use the Atiles plugin which is very friendly and easy to work with and as you see I just create in a couple of minutes what I needed for my roof I covered all rounds with the tiles and that's it so you just need to pick and bring the material after on your tiles you can also check a little bit the combination of IDs around to have nice smooth realistic effects on what you would like to achieve some material look but that's it in general and if you go step further and to browse additional options what Atalus is providing you can how I said create uh, holes after the ones when you're done with covering and just by dragging and how I'm showing you here in my running project is the way of using our tiles for having nice smooth coverage on your top of the roof and there are some additional options also like what I show you right now is just going through the edges and all these things are necessary for getting the best realistic result in your project the same way I really highly recommend Rail Clone for creating nice uh, balcony railing and so on like uh, street furniture and something which you would need to use huge amount of time for creating in the general stages by using 3D Max by default and that's the power of using plugins so thanks for watching stay tuned and catch you in the next episode thanks for watching again